you mentioned the word in there, free. What does free mean to you two, considering the country you've fled from under very different circumstances and where you are right now? It means a lot. But in a, Describe it. Yeah, in, in a really simple, simple word that holding my husband's hand and walking in the street without any wall, without anyone asking you anything, and just looking around at people who are just going, coming, and they don't care who you are, who, how, what you're wearing, uh, what are you doing, who are you with. This is freedom. Freedom is um, being happy is freedom. Have peace in your heart is freedom. So peace is really important. You know, I just, uh, I, I first time felt the freedom when I, I, I got out of detention the first day, it was raining, and maybe, uh, you know, I just, I just thought that I, I just go out of the house and do a little bit walk. And I felt on the, under the rain, I felt like I never felt being in jail for a long time, for, especially if you've done something that is not worth it to, you, to go to jail. I haven't done anything wrong, but uh, I felt the freedom and, and I, I just felt, you know, I, I felt for everyone else in detention. And it's, it's, it's very hard to pass the days. Yeah. It's very hard, you know, I cannot describe the feelings. I've only been in detention for seven months, but I cannot say how much I felt in two years going back to detention from Australian community. It was just a really tough, you know, year, years. I, I, I'm just so proud of her. But we grow a lot. We, we grow a lot, yeah. 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 We learned. We learned a lot. Yeah. We learned a lot. That, look, obviously everything happens for a reason in this world. But there are some some things that are so exhausting in your life. But at the same time, it teaches you so many lessons. It's about the love between your family. It's about the love that you can create amongst the community. It's about everything, about the love that, that the love power can change everything around. And look, we had no idea that if Mujgan goes back to detention, what can happen next? And all of the sudden, we just created thousands of supporters, yeah. thousands of supporters who, who we did, I haven't even met. Lots of, you know, legal um, uh, lawyers and lots of other important people who gathered with us in this, uh, you know, two years, yeah. and I just, I just feel like it's amazing, and how, how, how can we create this amazing work to, to you know, co be continued? Uh, that that's one of the reasons why our book is now out. So. And it's, it's, it's a beautiful work for the future too, You're just wrapping it up, both only 22, the yes. last four years basically, all this has happened in the last four years, you've even gone to school in Australia during that time and only recently you were given your certificate yes. because when you actually should have got it, you are actually in detention and weren't able to do it, so yeah. looking forward, the dreams for you two together, what are they? Well, you know, uh, one of the dreams that um, Mojgan from beginning mentioned in my life was a great dream about having uh, two or four um, kids. I was from so. when I was 12, um, I was telling my mom that when I grow up, when I become 30 or 35, I want to adopt two kids. And I told her, Mom, whenever, when I grow up and I forgot, please remind me. But I never forgot, and uh, this is my dream, and I'm really strongly thinking about this dream to come true. So we really, this is our goal to add up two kids. Yeah, and yeah, yeah it's, it's just amazing. And look, uh, we've got lots of 
things going in our head that we have to study. She, 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 she obviously wa loves to become a midwife. <laughs> midwife. Yes. Yeah, and and uh, I wanted to become a teacher. So uh, because I found that teachers are amazing. I don't know. Teachers are great. <laughs> yeah. And you'll have to teach the two children, having gone through the interview process with you. Yes. They can't put their socks on the bed. <laughs> no, they can't. <laughs> so yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> You're still learning that since your wife has come home and said, oh. no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, look, um, she's a strict on something, but I, as I said, ha happy wife, happy life. So I, I would, I love whatever she says. I love, I agree with everything she says at home, so I have no problem with it. I, I just I wish sure. you happy life. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you very you. much.